You've definitely answered Likert scale questions before. They look like this, and they usually have a statement like this and ask you how much you agree with that statement, most probably on a five point scale. If you're ever putting together a survey, chances are you should be using it. Compared to binary yes, no questions, which give you only two answer options, Likert scale questions give you more granular feedback because a yes, no question may make you think your sock designs are really good when in reality, they're just a bit average. Most of the time, Likert scales have five or seven points on the scale. The odd number allows people who have no real opinion to choose a midpoint. And odd number scales are the most popular because most of the time people don't really have an opinion. There are some cheeky people out there though that use a four point scale. The even number gets rid of that neutral midpoint and forces people to get off the fence and choose a side. Generally, this works best if you want to also use an open-ended follow-up question that digs deeper to find out why they feel that way. Likert scales don't have to be about agreement with a topic, even though they are the most popular. There are other different anchors depending on what it is you're trying to understand. The other most common ones are how important to you is which is a great question if you're looking to understand the features of a new product, like say your packaging, how satisfied are you with, best for understanding different elements of your customer service or product, things like flavor, how likely are you to, which is great if you want to launch a new business, product or feature. Over the past few years, a lot of survey questions have got shorter. Things like the net promoter score allow you to ask one question and get a lot of information. More about that here. Likert scales are different though. They're great when you want to dig deeper and understand more about a topic, but it's important that you use them properly. So here are three quick tips. Don't use lots of different scales in the questionnaire or survey. Different scales can make it confusing. So stick to the same anchors and the same number of points. Make sure you use words on your scale. A lot of Likert scales use only colors or numbers but whichever you use, always use wording. Using both makes it easier for the respondent to understand which end of the scale is which. And then make it easy for people to tell you what they think. To get good data from Likert scale questions, the question should be easy to understand. The questionnaire in total should be no longer than 10 minutes to complete. And make sure you use a survey platform that is right for what you need. It could be SurveyMonkey, it could be Typeform, it could be Google Forms. There are positives and negatives of each one. And if you want to find out which is the best survey platform for you, we've created a short little video that you should see on your screen right now. So click that and tell me in the comments how many times I got confused and pronounced it Likert rather than Likert. It's supposed to be Likert. I still say Likert. Mm -hmm.